Hypoxia. Hypoxia is a condition in which the body or region of the body is deprived of adequate oxygen supply at the tissue level. Hypoxia may be classified as either generalized, affecting the whole body, or local, affecting a region of the body. Today, we are going to discuss about generalized hypoxia caused by carbon monoxide and cyanide poisoning. This is to demonstrate the different mechanism of action of carbon monoxide and cyanide while causing the same effect. But first, we need to discuss about how oxygen enters the body and is transported to the tissue or cell to be used. Oxygen enters the body when we breathe. This is called respiration. We breathe through our nose and mouth. We take 16 to 20 breaths per minute, about 11,000 liters of air per day. The air will travel through the trachea, bronchus and bronchial before it reaches our alveoli, where the air exchange will take place. Alveoli are small sacs located at the end of the bronchial. Your lung consists of 2,400 km of airway with 300 to 500 million alveoli, giving a total surface area of about 75 square meters in adults. At the alveoli, the inspired air containing 21% oxygen will diffuse through the thin single layer wall alveoli and the capillaries lining the alveoli wall. The oxygen will bind with the hemoglobin in the red blood cell and will be transported to the cell to be used for metabolism. At the tissue level, the oxygen is released from the hemoglobin in the red blood cell, diffuses across the blood vessel through the interstitial fluid into the cell. The oxygen will be used by the cell for metabolism. Now, we will discuss about carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is produced due to incomplete combustion. For example, the exhaust fumes from vehicle, car, motorbikes, lorries, and also from cigarette smoke. In case of carbon monoxide poisoning, carbon monoxide has high affinity from he for hemoglobin, which means it will bind more easily with hemoglobin compared to oxygen. In this case, oxygen will not be able to bind with hemoglobin and the cell will be deprived of oxygen for metabolism. Now we move to another substance that can also cause hypoxia, cyanide. It's a chemical found naturally in some food and also from manufacturing industry process such as insecticide and plastic manufacturing. Cyanide reversibly binds to an enzyme called cytochrome oxidase in the mitochondrium, causing cessation of aerobic cell metabolism. This will also lead to cell hypoxia. This lesson is to demonstrate that different chemicals or substances can act using different mechanisms of action to cause a similar outcome, that is hypoxia.